Hey, what's up, Street Dogs? The Eric from the Eric from Street Photography blog. So, let me share with you some just very practical, like physiological tips that I do in order to maximize my own personal creativity. So, let me just jump into it. So, first and foremost, one of the best things I discovered was this thing called intermittent fasting. Basic notion is I don't eat breakfast or lunch, and I break my fast at around uh, dinner time. So it could be as early as like four or five o'clock, six o'clock, or sometimes as late as seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock. And what I do is when I first wake up, I generally try to sleep a lot. So I'm striving towards, you know, 10 to 12 hours a night. And first thing I do is when I wake up, take an icy cold shower, drink a bunch of water, and drink a lot of black coffee. And then I start to try to move around to write, maybe sometimes read or make videos or vlogs. And this is the reason why I think intermittent fasting is the ultimate you know, productivity hack for us creators and artists is that consider during the day, whenever you have a big meal, there, you're always gonna fall into a little bit of food coma. And the downside of food coma is you're essentially, you lose motivation to move or do stuff for the rest of the day. And so consider, a lion does not eat a granola bar before hunting an antelope, right? What a, what a lion does is, the lion channels its hunger in order to hunt, and then once it kills the gazelle or whatever, you'll, you'll eat 10 pounds of meat or whatever, and then you'll fall into food coma for the next like 18 hours and so forth. And I, I think actually, I think mammalian or mammal uh, metabolism, obviously it's different, but it's probably not that, that different. And so I'm starting to think intermittent fasting is better for us as creators because even during the day, if you're a little bit hungry, you're actually a little bit sharper. And maybe I wonder if we're creating artistic works or walking or moving, it's almost like channeling this like hunting instinct in a creative way, right? And so during the day, what I like to do is drink lots of water, lots of black coffee, and to create. I, I like to walk a lot. Also, uh, certain things I like to do is I don't like to sit. I found that once I sit, all of my creative functions shut down and I also feel my metabolism start to slow down. Whereas if I'm standing, if I'm walking and I'm talking, da -da -da, I feel like the wisdom, the ideas, and the creativity actually come from my feet. And so during the day, I, you know, I just put a plastic box on top of my kitchen counter and I put my laptop on top of that. So when I'm typing or doing stuff on the computer, I do a standing desk. And when I'm making videos or vlogs, I, like you, you see with these videos, I don't stand still, I like to walk. It's like, you know, when you're on the phone, you know, you talk to your friends and then you're just kind of talking. It feels actually much more natural. And so for, so like for me optimally in a given day, I'll be walking the whole day. I'll never be sitting. And if I'm super duper exhausted during the day for some reason, I'll just lie down and I'll take a nap. And so the goal is to never sit, to stand and walk as much as you can. And other things I like to do too is, you know, during the day when I'm maximally productive and da 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 and then stuff like that, when I finally do hit a hard wall where I'm like, I cannot do anything or produce anything anymore, I like to just walk to the gym, get a good workout into the gym. I'm like all about the power lifting one rep maxes, so I try to max out my squat, deadlift, or bench press. And then when I come home, then you know I'll, I'll generally break my fast. So nowadays I'm like hitting the gym, you know, kind of like I think optimally around like three or four o'clock ish. And then I'll break my fast and have a massive dinner around like six or seven p.m. and I found like this is the best general way for me to be creatively productive. And also I'm currently living in this like, you know, minimalist apartment with super fast Wi-Fi. I've actually found myself not really going to coffee shops anymore. And actually as a consequence being more productive because especially if I'm making these videos or vlogs, you know, it's kind of weird. Like <laughs> you have this like video camera with this microphone pointed to your face. It kind of attracts a lot of attention. And to me, I don't mind the attention so much, but it just, when I know that other people are watching me, it kind of distracts me in my, my line of thought. And so I found that doing creative work inside your own apartment, 
is actually good, especially if you live in these communities where you could actually just walk in the back, uh, back the, the, the stairway where I'm doing this vlog, or I'll take the, the, the elevator to the top floor and I'll just talk in the, the, the kind of communal areas or the lobbies, or even just take a walk around the block and just shoot the videos and then upload it uh, there. So essentially what I'm encouraging more is a combination of intermittent fasting and also when you break your fast and eat dinner, just eat a shitload of meat. <laughs> like I'm all about the like quote quote ketogenic diet, which means it's mostly heavy fatty meats like, you know, ground beef, you know, steak, um, pork shoulder. Like generally I try to buy meat, which is like anywhere between 99 cents to about 4.99 a pound. And yeah, eat it with, with a lot of like collard greens with kale. I try to avoid sugar like the devil. I don't take protein powder or any of that weird stuff anymore. I'm just all about eating as much meat as humanly possible. And you know, on the side eating kimchi, Cindy's also getting into fermenting um, kefir. So I've been drinking a lot of kefir, that's pretty good. And I really do think that if we can maximize our physical strength, our physiological strength, we can actually maximize our creative output. So once again, think about the intermittent fasting, ketogenic diet, powerlifting. It seems like that's the three trios uh, that have to become the most epic meat possible. Drink lots of water, black coffee, uh, eliminate sugar from your diet. And uh, yeah, see if this works for you. It works for me. It's you know, just experiment, figure out what's best for you, and think that the source of your creative inspiration motivation is probably physiological. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.